The 1948 Buick Super, priced at $29,000, is equipped with a straight eight engine and is in excellent mechanical condition, having been driven weekly over 40 years by its previous owner. The car was undergoing repairs to the convertible top and windows mechanism, with the hydraulic pump already rebuilt, but the job remains unfinished. Currently, the top is up and the windows are down, needing further work. Despite this, the Buick is fully drivable and presents itself in good form for its antique status. It's ready to find a new owner after its debut on the market. The 1959 Oldsmobile 88, priced at $24,000, is a well-maintained coupe that runs and drives smoothly. Its body is solid with no rust underneath, and while the paint is an older respray, it remains in presentable condition. Though not perfect, this Oldsmobile is a rare find in such good shape, making it a desirable classic for collectors or enthusiasts. The 1946 Ford Super Deluxe, priced at $22,000, features a 351 Cleveland engine with four bolt mains, a Ford top loader four speed transmission, and a Ford rear end with Posey's Super Slide Springs. The front suspension is from a Mustang and includes disc brakes. It has undergone a frame off restoration with all new glass, heating, air conditioning, and an interior featuring original type material. The car is equipped with a new gas tank and presents itself as a well-restored classic driver. The 1960 Pontiac Catalina priced at $9,500, is a great running sedan with a 389 engine. Recently taken on a 100-mile trip without issues, the car shows its age with chips, scratches, and a couple of dents. However, it remains a solid cruiser with a nice interior, needing nothing but a new home. The 1956 Chevrolet 210, priced at 24,000, 
$500 is a clean and well-maintained original car with only two owners. It has been repainted once and it retains its six-cylinder engine paired with a Powerglide automatic transmission. This car stands out for its originality and cleanliness. The 1947 Chevrolet 3100, priced at $19,500, features a 235 inline six engine, an Offenhauser dual carb intake, Fenton headers, and dual exhaust. The truck is equipped with a four speed manual transmission, and all gauges, lights, and even the radio work. This solid, clean pickup is a strong runner, maintaining its classic charm. The 1941 Chevrolet Special Deluxe, priced at $18,250, boasts a 350 engine with a small cam, powered light transmission, electric cooling fan, and both heating and air conditioning. It has power windows, power seats, trunk release, and a new interior. The car's exterior features nice paint, pin striping, and a number of upgrades, making it a great driver and cruiser with plenty of modern conveniences. The 1959 Edsel Ranger, priced at $9,500, is in nice condition with a good running six-cylinder engine and a three-on-the-tree manual transmission. The body and interior are in great shape, with only a tear in the driver's seat. This classic sedan is a solid, dependable vintage vehicle. The 1953 Ford F100, priced at $23,000, is an original, accident-free truck with a straight body. It features a 215 six-cylinder engine paired with a three-speed transmission. Having been in storage for years, this classic pickup is ready for a new owner and is ideal for those seeking an unmodified vintage vehicle.
the 1937 Chevrolet Master, priced at $18,500, is equipped with a V8 engine and an automatic transmission. It includes power steering and disc brakes, enhancing the car's drivability. The seller is also open to partial trades for certain classic hot rods like a Nova, Camaro, Chevelle, or a 55 Chevy. The 1953 Plymouth Cranbrook, priced at $8,500, remains mostly original aside from its paint. It features the overdrive option and runs and drives well, as the current owner uses it as a daily driver. The car has a manual three-on-the-tree transmission and is primarily being offered for trade, with a preference for older vehicles, especially early 60s Chevy or Ford pickups. The 1947 Chevrolet Fleetmaster, priced at $17,500, features a 350 engine paired with a turbo 350 transmission. It has been upgraded with four-wheel power disc brakes, power steering, new wheels and tires, dual exhaust, new upholstery, and a wiring system. The car also includes electric windshield wipers and a clear title making it a great choice for classic car enthusiasts. The 1951 Ford Custom priced at $8,000, has a built flathead V8 engine with Offenhauser heads and Fenton headers. It also includes new gas tank and fuel lines, as well as all new brakes. The car comes with additional parts, such as Enoas fenders, rockers, quarter patch panels, and a new vinyl top, making it an excellent restoration project for a vintage Ford lover. The 1953 Ford F-350, priced at $7,500, is a 50th anniversary edition stake box flat truck with a 239 flathead V8 engine. Recent updates include a new fuel pump, tires and tubes. All lights and signals work, and the truck is described as running strong. The sale also includes parts and service manuals, and the title is clean.
the 1947 Willys Jeep, priced at $10,500, underwent a full restoration in 1983 with a new M38 body and has received a new top, doors, and paint in 2024. The Jeep is in great running condition with no rust or mechanical issues. This Texas origin Jeep is a solid example of a classic Willys ready for off-road adventures. The 1927 Dodge Brothers Scoop, priced at $13,000, was purchased from a museum liquidation sale in early 2023 and has since undergone extensive work to return it to fully operational status. Efforts were made to preserve its survivor condition while ensuring its mechanical reliability. Notable work includes truing all five wooden wheels, fabricating rim locks, replacing all tires and tubes, tightening the steering, rebuilding the starter, replacing headlamps, and lining the fuel tank with epoxy to prevent rust. This authentic Roaring Twenties car is perfect for parades or leisurely drives, offering a glimpse into early American automotive history. The 1928 Ford Model A, priced at $9,000, is a fully original example that was repainted in the late 1960s. Its patina has aged beautifully over the years, adding to the car's charm. All new tires have been installed, including the spare, and the wheels have been repainted. This classic starts, stops, and functions as it should, making it a wonderful all-original vintage car that captures the essence of the late 1920s.